first of all, folks, I'm going to say this, and I'm going to say this for the last time. That young man had no business being killed. Now, people are commenting on this video that I made, and they're saying, okay, he went over there to ask this guy a question. He went over to ask for an explanation. That's just the last thing that I got. This other girl were, was co corresponding with me. She said she went over there. She didn't go over there. She, she knew the kid. He went over there to talk about whatever happened. He was supposed to go to some party where this black kid was supposed to be at. First of all, there is not one motherfucking thing you people out there can fucking say to me that will make me think that this boy had any reason over at these people's house. Secondly, when you go over to somebody's house four deep at night, you're looking for fucking trouble. You telling me that this boy went over there at two o'clock in the evening with his parents to get an explanation. How come this girl that he allegedly was threatening to rape, how come her fucking parents didn't go over there and say, hey man, what is this shit that you're putting on the internet? How come no adults went over there to deal with this situation? I'm tired of motherfuckers whose family members or friends get killed on a fucking humbug. This goes for white people, black people, Mexican people, and Asian people, whoever the fuck got dumbass motherfucking family members willing to go do stupid fucking shit and get killed. Friends. Once a friend of mine told me, these people are fucking with my son. When I catch this motherfucker, I'm going to fuck this motherfucker up. And I said, what did your son do? What did your son do for somebody to run up on your wife and him and threaten to beat him up? What the fuck did your son do? So when you run over there and jump on these people and send your ass to jail and they send you to jail, think about your other five kids. What did your fucking son do? Now, the girl says, after two minutes of conversation, Mr. White shot the boy in the face. When you watch the video, his friends say he slapped the gun down out of the man's hand. Somebody walk up to you with a fucking gun this ain't the fucking movies. You're not Schwarzenegger. You're not Stallone. You're not going to spin around and slap the gun out of somebody's fucking hand. The gun went off and shot the boy in the face. The boy didn't deserve to fucking die. How many fucking times do I got to tell you ignorant, foot up the ass motherfucking people this shit? No matter what fucking color the boy was, the boy did not deserve to die. And I gotta fucking sit here and explain some shit that I explained. His parents don't, they, man, they don't need deserve. They don't deserve to hurt over some fucking girl that probably would have broke up with him, or he would have broke up with her. They wasn't destined to be together for fucking ever. Over some fucking girl, this boy died for a piece of fucking ass, and you motherfuckers can't fucking see it. Fuck all of you motherfuckers. It's no time for me to be sensitive anymore. I felt bad for the fucking boy. If you watch the fucking video, I felt bad. And corresponding back with people, I fucking, I busted a tear for that motherfucker. Why? For some fucking girl who probably got a tattoo on his arm and gonna be fucking somebody else next goddamn week. Some fucking girl is why these people's boy got killed. His motherfucking friends was with him, boosting him up to go over to these people's house. That's why he got killed. You don't go to nobody's house fucking four deep at night unless you plan on doing something. Starting some shit. Slapping the gun out of somebody's fucking hand. Fucking stupid. Oh, and I guess he got shot for two minutes of conversation. Why in the fuck did he go over to this motherfucker's house? He ain't that girl's goddamn daddy. He wasn't supposed to be going over there to defend her honor. He's a fucking kid. Now you guys got me mad at somebody for just falling in love with somebody. The little boy must have loved the girl enough. He fucking died for a piece of ass. Legs cocked up over at somebody else's motherfucking house right 
motherfucking now. High school fucking sweetheart, my motherfucking ass. People talking about the girl on MySpace. If anybody can say, you know, I'm just thinking about raping her. Rape, the word rape might be cool with you motherfucking kids nowadays. You stupid little motherfuckers. All of you goddamn kids are stupid. Except the smart ones who go to school and try to, you know, the young kids who, who try to think outside the box. The ones who use their brains. Those, you know what, I, I don't want to bash every young person. A lot of young people listen to my show. That boy didn't have to die. So was the old man wrong for shooting him? No. That man was scared for his fucking life. And if he wasn't scared for his life, fucking Joe Horn wasn't fucking scared for his life either. Now, I fucking said it. I said it. If it's gonna be a fucked up justice around this motherfucker, let it be even. Fucking people cried. People fell out in the streets. People fucking had heart attacks and stroke when O.J. Simpson was found not guilty. When those police officers walked out that courtroom after s s beating the shit out of Rodney King, not guilty. Those p police officers killed those people after Katrina not guilty the young kid the, the man in New York we can go on and on and on and on about police officers blowing people's fucking heads off this man came outside to defend his family if his son would have came outside by himself with the shotgun he probably would have been dead what if the gun would have fell out of that old man's hand and that young guy picked the gun up and shot everybody down in the street it was self-defense. They came out the house with guns. And he, he struggled for the gun and he shot the guy in the sun. Self-defense. I am tired of saying left justice, right justice. He's wrong. I'm right. You guys are bad. We're all... I'm tired of that motherfucking shit. White people do crime just as much as black people and Mexicans and Asians. There's good and bad and everyone we must all learn to live to be with each other some shit ebony and ivory fuck it we got bigger fucking fish to fry we need to fix the system that's fucked up if you want an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth wouldn't be many of you motherfuckers left who comment on my video stupidly i never once blamed the kid for anything. I said he should not have been there. I said he didn't deserve to die. But you people out there are making me think maybe he did deserve to die. Maybe there are people out there who are destined to die. We all strive to live and we all live to die. Did that make any sense to you? Hmm? Idle threats? And another thing, these motherfuckers who threaten me. If all you can do is call me bad names, threaten to kill me and shit, and threaten to make me rich and famous, that way I'll fucking self-destruct and you can tell everybody I fucking did it. I'm tired of people dropping end bombs on me. I'm tired of this bullshit. Watch the motherfucking video and say, I don't like your video. Hey, the video was good. That's all I fucking need from you simple motherfuckers. And if you're my friends, you go ahead and tell me how the video made you feel. But if you got to call me all out my name and shit just to say you don't like the video, don't fucking like it. Don't fucking like it. Don't fucking watch it. Motherfuckers.